How can I show my face if I want to show it? Not that I, oh yes, I can. Hello. <laughs> I can show my face if I want, but I don't. <laughs> I just hope nothing bad happened. Oh, she's there. Let's try it. Let's hope. Oh, internet. <laughs> Hello. <Free. laughs> oh, son. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Um, uh, I'm fine. Sun is shining, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Hey. Okay, sun is shining here too, so we are kind of lucky so far. Yes, that's nice. <laughs> and my internet <laughs> is finally doing things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so very much for being there today. No problem. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm really glad to, to have you. I have some questions for you and if people want to, if people want to, uh, to ask questions, they can do so in the comments. Of course. And we are going to, to watch a bit the comments in the live. Yes. So, first question, just basically, are you fine? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of. It's a little bit of a different situation because, uh, I cannot see my bandmates and friends and. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so how's the situation in Germany like you have uh, you still can go out from time to time with some people or um, I think it's allowed to, to be together with two people at once but okay yeah it's it's not really like you can hang out uh, and do a picnic or something yeah okay <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, I, I saw uh, recently that you were working on a new album with Brizinga. Yes. And how is it going so far? Has the, has the epidemic stopped you or uh, is there some problem with it? Kind of, because we, we wanted to release it on Castlefest and now yeah. we can't and so we have to figure out how to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit difficult, but we are working on the artwork currently and it's a lot of fun because we can have these girly Skype talks together every week. Yeah. Yeah. But I okay. miss so much. Okay. But it's more like on the it's more kind of stopping you for the release but not for the the making of process. No, we just um, we recorded everything, kind of everything, and there are uh, small, tiny parts that are need to be recorded, but um, the main things are done. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's cool. So we are crossing fingers for the situation to get better soon and to have a a new cool album. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, also, I I saw that you were uh, making some. Quarantine version of Stormseeker, uh, Stormseeker's song. Yes. And so, how did you get the idea of this? Because, uh, hmm. like it, it was, uh, it was kind of far in the quarantine, uh, quarantine process, like you were playing in pyjamas yeah. or, and how did you come with the ideas? Um, <laughs> I think we just talked about that. And since we are six people, it is a little bit, uh, difficult to to get some decisions and when to make things because everybody's still busy and yeah so we needed to do it uh, for the right right uh, time so that everybody could join okay yes. so so you've made uh, if I'm not mistaken you made two videos so far yes are you going to record another one maybe uh, we hope so but at at the moment, we have a lot of behind-the-scenes work to do. Um, okay. So we're planning things and, uh, yeah, communicating a lot, but, yeah, on distance. And everything is, like, 
Oh, was that a branch? In your... Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. We can see the scars okay. of the last tempest. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we we have um, we have a lot to do behind the scenes wise, but there are some news. I think we just announced it today. There will be an online festival. Um, yeah, I saw I saw this. Perfect transition. My, <laughs> my next question was about this festival. So. What's the what's the aim? What's the the principle of this festival? So are you going to like record something and edit a video or? A... Yes, um, it is it is an acoustic show. I'm sorry, I I just uh, want to go into the car because here are more. <laughs> I cannot. Then what you say? It's crazy. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> Still working. Nice. So um, we we have a video, um, a concert video. It's it's a whole concert and it is a special acoustic setting. Um, okay. So yeah, that this is going to happen for Stormseeker. <laughs> and okay. Then, uh, you have these little areas where you can um, do like some fun stuff, like cooking or something. And okay, that's cool. Yes. That's a very, very nice idea. I think I remember, uh, so the, the price is kind of free. You can pay different, uh, different prices for the tickets. Mm -hmm. And all the, all the money is used to help the bands yes. to get some uh, income in these difficult times. Yes. So that's really cool. Okay. <laughs> I saw that someone was asking, but it was a long time ago, in the chat where we were from. Oh, um, I'm from Germany, Western Germany. <laughs> yeah. And I am from Eastern France, actually. Um, so one, uh, one important information in these uh, difficult times, you started a Ben Camp account. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. So uh, can you tell us more about it? Because it's, uh, it's a really cool way to, to support you. Yeah, that's that's true. I thought about uh, all this stuff, what what I can do now, and it is really um, expensive to record a whole album, as you might know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I thought about um, collecting and saving for. That. So you are planning to record a full album with your uh, with your uh, Fabistian project. Uh, yeah, but this is a long-term project because my uh, okay. priorities for now are Stormseeker and Lysinga, clearly, because mm -hmm. we have something that are coming up, and yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Nicholas, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> How do you think the this whole epidemic stuff is going to impact uh, the folk music industry and uh, and different events? Do you think it's gonna be? more difficult in the future to have big events like this because organizers are going to be maybe uh, a bit more uh, anxious about the possibilities of new new waves like this um i don't know i i really cannot cannot look that far but i think a lot of um especially balfolk scene things are very non-profit and are just carried by the people and their enthusiasm about the music so it could be that there's uh, a big loss of festivals i think um but i think that if we just try to to realize these festivals as a a community more then it could be could be happening that we don't lose too much of this stuff and i would love that <laughs> because yeah. um these festivals are so unique because you cannot compare them to any big metal festival or something. It's just nice people on a on a blob of land. <laughs> yeah. So, what is one last question? Maybe what is the best way to to support you and to support Brisinga and Stormseeker? Um, I think it's quite easy to answer because you, we are always like. Um, happy if people support us on the social media like youtube or facebook um share stuff and of course uh the merch section <laughs> yeah okay like how you can help any band i think 
I think okay. also uh, for Wildcards. Oh, Wildcards has a new shop online, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so this is like the easiest ways to support the musicians we like. Okay, thank you very much. So everyone in the in the yes. chat can go on the different pages of your project and support you. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Yes. And. Uh, well, Thank good, uh, good road, good road back to back to your home. Okay, uh, stay strong. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Bye. You thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.